Welcome to Bolt Energy USA. This is the Club Car Precedent Lithium Battery Installation Video. This step-by-step -step guide demonstrates how to go from old lead-acid batteries to a Bolt Energy USA 51 volt 105 amp hour lithium golf cart battery. Bolt Energy recommends having a golf car or a battery technician perform all battery maintenance on your vehicle. Please wear the recommended personal protective equipment during the battery installation. In addition to this tool list, you may also need small gauge wiring supplies. Bolt Energy battery ships securely inside a drop proof box strapped to a pallet. The box also includes the owner's manual packet. Before starting your installation, please read through the packet for more information regarding installation, warranty, and frequently asked questions. There are two installation kit options available. The standard installation kit is perfect for newer model golf cars or golf cars that have been previously upgraded to today's standards. The professional installation kit is the most complete installation kit on the market and recommended for any golf car that has not been upgraded to today's standards. In this video, we will be installing the professional installation kit. Always make sure the golf car's key is in the off position. Put the golf car in tow mode. Disconnect the lead acid battery cables. Use the Bolt Energy USA battery puller to remove eight lead acid batteries. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the forward trim screw. Remove the side trim panels by removing the two T40 torque screws on each side. Remove the floor mat. Use the T40 Torx bit to remove three Torx screws on the front trim panel. Pop the charge receptacle cover out of place and discard. Remove the four T30 Torx screws that hold the shell in place. This will allow you to lift the shell up just enough to remove the front trim panel. Using a Phillips head bit, remove the three mounting screws for the OEM charge port. Access the controller and solenoid area by removing this T30 Torx screw and pulling the panel forward into the battery compartment. Disconnect the charge receptacle wires from the back side of the vehicle's OBC. Remove the charge receptacle and wires from the vehicle and discard. Cut the main negative cable and pull it through the OBC. Then, cut the six wire harness close to the OBC and all of the grounding wires to the controller's B negative port. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the OBC. Retain the wiring harness connection for an upcoming step. <music> to install the Bolt Energy USA two gauge replacement main battery cables, use a 13 millimeter socket or wrench to remove the original main negative cable and the two other grounds at the controller's B negative port. Replace with the Bolt Energy USA main negative battery cable and tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds using a torque wrench and a 13 millimeter socket. Replace the main positive cable and the solenoid together. Disconnect the pink wire from the run toe switch. Remove the small wires from the spade connectors. Use a 13 millimeter socket or wrench to remove the wires from the large post. Then slide the original solenoid out of place and discard. Secure the new Bolt Energy USA high output solenoid in its place. Replace the spade connecting ends on the small wires with eyelets. Put the small wires on the new solenoid the same way they came off the OEM solenoid and tighten using a seven millimeter socket or wrench. The wire to the controller side of the solenoid will need to be enlarged by either drilling out the existing eyelet or replacing the eyelet completely. Tighten the solenoid post with a 17 millimeter socket and torque wrench to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Install the new two gauge bolt positive cable to the battery side of the solenoid. Reinstall the pink wire with an enlarged eyelet. 
Tighten the solenoid post with a 17 millimeter socket and torque wrench to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. If you are installing your Bolt Energy USA lithium battery into a stock club car precedent, you will hook up the new solenoid the same exact way your old solenoid was taken off. Install the Bolt Energy USA onboard charger and secure it to the battery tray with self-tapping screws. You can hide wire between the battery compartment and the outer shell. Plug the charging pigtail into the charger output wire by clicking it into place. Route the black signal wire from the charger to the controller and solenoid compartment. Crimp a spade connector on the end of the blue wire from the vehicle's main wiring harness end connection. Plug the spade connector into the corresponding end from the charger's signal wire. Cap off or tape all other wires from the vehicle's main wiring harness. Also, cap off or tape the two unused ends of the onboard charger's signal wire. Plug the wiring harness connector back into the vehicle's main wiring harness. This connection keeps the golf car's charger interlock safety feature operational and will not allow the golf car to operate while the charger is plugged into an outlet. Perform wire management to secure the signal wire and all other wires in the controller compartment. And go ahead and replace the access panel. Mount your Bolt Energy USA 12 volt reducer anywhere in the battery compartment. Plug the 12 volt reducer's wiring harness in. The yellow and black wires are the 12 volt reducer's 48 volt input. You may need to extend one or both, but they will go to the battery's main terminals. The green wire we are going to route to the dash area and attach to the cold side of the key switch. The blue wire is a constant 12 volt supply for accessories with memory. The red wire is the 12 volt supply. Route the red wire from the 12 volt reducer's wiring harness to the vehicle's 12 volt load. Ground the 12 volt load at the battery's B negative post. For vehicles with two or more 12 volt accessories, we recommend using a fuse block. Insert the center bracket and push forward to the middle ridge. Then also push forward towards the front of the cart. Put a mark on a level area inside the mounting slots. Drill the marks, put the bracket back in place, and insert the 13 millimeter mounting bolts. Go under the cart and using some snippers, remove the plastic molding from around the mounting hardware. Insert the washers and hand tighten the nut. Tighten the mounting hardware by using a 13 millimeter socket and wrench. Insert the second bracket on the passenger side. Measure 14 inches from mounting hole to mounting hole. Mark the mounting slots in a level area, not over the vehicle's frame. Drill the mounting holes. Insert the mounting bracket and mounting bolts. Trim the form plastic. Insert the washers and go ahead and tighten the mounting nut. And re-verify 14 inches. Then tighten using a 13 millimeter socket. It will be very helpful to have someone help you tighten the mounting hardware. Place your Bolt Energy USA 51 volt 105 amp hour mini battery on top of the mounting brackets. Insert the 13 millimeter mounting hardware and tighten. The battery is extremely secure with no room for movement. Starting with the positive side, go smallest to biggest biggest touching the terminal. The smaller item is the yellow wire extended with red from the 12 volt reducer's input, followed by the red wire from the charger's output pigtail. And the last wire is the Bolt Energy main positive cable. Secure to the terminal and tighten the provided 13 millimeter hardware to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Slide the positive terminal protector in place. 
Same thing on the negative side. The smallest item is the ground from the 12 volt fuse block. Next is the black wire from the 12 volt reducer, followed by the black wire from the charger output pigtail. And the final item is the new bolt energy main negative cable. Use the provided hardware to secure the wires to the negative terminal and tighten using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Finalize by sliding the negative terminal protector in place. Plug in and secure the Bolt Energy USA state of charge meter wiring harness into the display port on the battery. Route the state of charge meter wiring harness along with the green wire from the 12 volt reducer to the dash area. Secure the wires to existing wiring harnesses along the way. Select an area on the dash for your Bolt Energy USA state of charge meter. Use a T30 Torx bit to remove the two dash panel mounting screws on each side of the dash panel. Use a T15 to remove the top mounting screw to gain access to the back of the dash panel. Use a 2 and 1 16 hole saw to create a perfect hole for the state of charge meter. If installing over an existing opening, use the template from the owner's manual packet and a cutting tool. And then slide the Bolt Energy USA state of charge meter in place and secure it to the dash panel with the provided U-bracket and wing nut. Attach the state of charge meter wiring harness to the back of the state of charge meter. Route the green wire from the 12 volt reducer to the key switch and using a dual spade connector or wire jumper, attach the 12 volt reducer's green wire to the cart's blue wire on the key switch which is the cold side. So when the key switch is in the on position, the 12 volt supply is activated. Secure excess wire behind the dash and you can go ahead and secure the dash panel back in place. Insert and screw the Bluetooth adapter into the BT port on the battery. Use the magnet on the back side of the Bluetooth adapter to secure it to the battery. Reinstall the front trim panel and tighten the three T40 Torx screws. Install the Bolt Energy USA AC port cover plate to the front trim panel using the provided screws. Insert the Bolt AC port replacement and secure it to the cover plate. Plug the AC port into the charger input and secure excess wire. Replace all trim panels in the opposite order they came off. Test for golf car operation by pressing the battery's power button, put the golf car in run mode, turn the key switch to on, put the vehicle in forward and lightly press the accelerator. Once golf cart operation is confirmed, put the golf car in neutral and turn the key switch off. Your Bolt battery will ship at 50% or below, so it is highly recommended to run a complete charge cycle before using the battery. Simply plug in your Bolt Energy USA charging extension cord. This will activate the onboard charger, which will run a complete charge cycle and shut off when finished. While you're waiting for your Bolt Energy battery to charge, go ahead and download the Bolt Energy USA mobile application. Open the app and select your battery. The app will display the battery's data in real time. Under the battery data, you can see the battery's health. Scroll down to the best two features of the application you will probably never need to use. The update firmware feature allows existing Bolt Energy USA battery owners to remotely update their battery's firmware should a new firmware release in the future. The Send Data feature allows a Bolt Energy technician to remotely diagnose Bolt Energy batteries in the rare event of a warranty claim. Simply email the battery's data log to support at boltenergyusa.com 
A technician will diagnose your data log and immediately begin the warranty process, making the process extremely efficient. Thank you for watching the Bolt Energy USA Club Car Precedent Lithium Battery Conversion video. We hope this video answered any questions you may have had. If you have additional questions, please use our dealer locator link in the description of this video to reach a brick and mortar dealer near you or a reputable online dealer. You can also contact Bolt Energy USA directly by messaging our social media platforms or calling directly Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern at the number listed below. You can also find several other useful links in this video's description in regard to warranty information and the product's data sheet. As always, please click the like and subscribe buttons. We have more lithium conversion and product information videos coming out on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, so we hope to see you next time. Thank you.